Hi, my name is Sabine Horner and I'm a grief nutritionist, which means that I support anybody who has suffered a major loss through good nutrition and proper stress management. I have been through this myself. I lost my husband nearly seven years ago and I know how hard it is to keep eating, especially if you're left without a partner and you have to cook for only one person. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so. And if you like my videos, consider sharing them with anybody who's going through a major loss and could benefit from my videos. Now, today I want to talk about healthy eating. What does it mean for grievers? What is healthy for us depends on so many factors and grief is massive and the impact on our body and especially on our digestive system so often overlooked. So we need to consider when somebody is grieving that their digestive system is compromised. Stress just diverts blood away from the stomach and we need lots of strong blood to digest our food well. We also get dehydrated because we forget to drink or we cry a lot. We can also get digestive issues like diarrhea which is also drying and lots of other things that can make the body dry. And when there's not enough fluids in our body that affects the, uh, the levels of our stomach acid, digestive enzymes and bile because we need fluids to make these digestive juices. So again, that's another factor making our digestive strength weaker. We call it digestive strength in Ayurveda. Um, there's a Sanskrit word for it. There's, it's called Agni. So grief weakens our Agni and we need to strengthen it. So healthy eating is everything that we can do after the loss of a loved one that strengthens this Agni. Now, I've been on a widow's blog um, several weeks ago and I noticed that she said, it doesn't matter what you eat as long as you eat. And that's not true. I really want to emphasize this. It does matter what food you eat when you're grieving. If you just put anything into your body and your agni is weak, what do you think will happen? It will just stay in the stomach because maybe there's lack of stomach acid levels when you are highly stressed and, you know, grief is emotional stress. Then it just sits there, doesn't move, attracts wrong bacteria. They love, you know, food that's just stagnating. And we get all sorts of digestive issues. We don't get the nutrients from that food. The harmful bacteria who thrive on this, you know, rotting food, they get the nutrients, not us. So it really matters what we eat. So I always say in every workshop I do, in every webinar, in every interview I, I do with, with people who are interested in grief and nutrition, I always say everything we eat after the loss of a loved one needs to be easy to digest. Now, what do I mean by that? What is easy to digest? What foods are easy to digest? Right, Anything that's warm, that's already been cooked, because that means the stomach doesn't have to cook it. That takes so much energy out of our body that we don't have, right? I didn't have an, a lot of energy after my husband died and neither have you. Everything needs to be cooked and it should be mashed, blended um, or a smoothie, but it needs to be a warm smoothie, not a cold smoothie. It can be a porridge, which is already like uh, 
more like a grow. Okay, so anything that's already broken down so that the body doesn't have to break it down or first cook it to be able to break it down. Let's put it that way. So when I recommend that everything should be easy to digest, of course, there's also foods that I don't recommend because they're difficult to digest, like red meat, and especially in the evening, should be entirely avoided. Dairy, cow's milk, the way it's processed, the homogenization and pasteurization of cow's milk makes all the molecules large, and very difficult to pass into the bloodstream. So that's why modern day cow's milk is difficult to digest. Although in former times, milk was revered for its healing properties, but it, that doesn't apply to modern day milk. So goats and sheep's milk and also A2 milk, which is made with, uh, from different cows, has a different enzyme. They're all easier to digest and of course substitute milks like almond milk is very beneficial because almond milk is also rich in magnesium which we need when we are highly stressed we need more magnesium the other thing we should avoid and that's difficult to digest is wheat anything containing gluten because gluten is a, like a glue <laughs> right and when something is like a glue it's just like really difficult to break it down so difficult to digest, especially for people who tend to gain weight easily, I recommend steering away from wheat. Okay, so there's buckwheat, which is a protein, which is much easier to digest and can also uh, act as a substitute for wheat products. There's buckwheat noodles, buckwheat pasta, buckwheat flour, you can make uh, really very tasty pancakes with buckwheat flour or bread. So there, there's all sorts of things you can do with buckwheat. And uh, you will gain the benefit of it because it's, it's a good source of protein and we need lots of protein to keep us going. Protein is very important to repair the body and when grief impacts our body, there's a lot of repair work to be done. So. Easy to digest foods on the one hand, avoiding difficult to digest foods on the other hand, and also drinking enough is also part of the healthy eating picture when we are grieving. When we don't drink enough, everything breaks down. Our body needs enough fluids. The general recommendation is about two liters a day, but some people are drier they have a drier constitution they need more than two liters some people have excess fluids already in their body tend towards water retention towards gaining weight easily and when they drink too much the, the water just sits heavily in the stomach if you notice anything like that reduce the amount but still st stay within the range of one and a half to two liters and see how you go so that's um what I wanted to say about healthy eating when we have lost a loved one and if you need any more help or support do reach out to me and uh, get in touch and I offer a free 30 minute consultation where we can discuss how we can work together to get you to feel better again after the loss of your loved one. Take care and Speak soon. Bye-bye.